Hi, I'm Mel Sharon, co-founder of West End Records. Hot feet. When you touch me. Work that body. Hard times. Give your body up. Is it all over my face? Is it? <laughs> Sometime me and Adam will sit here and be like, we never gonna ever be able to eclipse or even get near Mel and his instincts for music. It's just incredible. You know, I tried to emphasize over and over that the music of the 70s, especially the early and mid 70s, was nothing called disco, what people think of as a disco record. It was danceable R&B. I mean, Blue Magic and The Spinners, and Isaac Hayes, Diana Ross, The Gamble and Huff, Motown. No one could call that disco music. It was danceable R&B. All that music was the music that we danced to. I think my very first West End record was... I think it was just a model. That was a big street classic for b-boys. Sesamato was the Italian name for how funny can sex be. It had a nice slow groove and it was so smooth. I remember Grandmaster Flash telling me that when Sesamato came out, he said that was the very first record that the rappers uptown used the bits and pieces of it to do their rapping. We were on the cutting edge without realizing it. My second 12 inches I ever bought in my life when I started buying records was Karen Young Hot Shot. It was a good dance record, radio friendly. With that one song, she became an international star. I didn't even know this girl was white. I mean, it's, you know, I think it was surprised a lot of people when she performed, but she was getting down. Ah! Larry LeVan was the epitome of a powerful DJ. His emotion came through. From him, straight through the turntables, right into the club. He didn't mix like everybody else. Everybody else was kind of mixing in and out. He was just boom, boom. He was just slap, slap. He would just hit you over the head with the mix. I mean, Larry wasn't only dictating what people would buy. Larry was saying what would go on the radio. Just his selection, I realized at that point, I said, this guy's a genius. It's really not a disco record, it's really a funk soul record. This bass line came to my head, and I started dancing, this is no joke, I started dancing, I mean as if I was in the garage or somewhere. Both Kenny Nix and I have said many times, if it wasn't for Larry LeVan, Heartbeat never would have happened. Larry puts this record on, and entirely every single person in the room left the room. Everybody shot it down. Kenny is too slow, it's too this, it's too this, it's too... Everybody hated it. It was in the middle of the disco era. No one wanted to hear nothing under 120, 130 BPMs. Only one that was doing that really was Larry. He was the only one that had the boss to let you be in a party and take it here and, you know, and give you any emotion instead of taking up and banging you over the head all, you know, all night. The crowd had such respect for him that they, oh, they got it. And, and once they got it, the rest is history. As a company, we plan to be everywhere. We went into Detroit and found Theo Parrish and Billy Love and groups like that and DJ Genesis and we're, DJ Minx. I mean, we're all working with them because they're wonderfully talented people and they deserve to have some spotlight on them. Then we have another group coming out of Chicago, which is a full-on band that we're producing called Mr. Ali. Then you have West End Blue, which is a division that is more jazz, more alternative style dance music. Zap, 
obviously, my partner and I, Josh, as Blaze, we plan to record <laughs> our next studio album for West End. It's probably gonna be called Blaze Jazz. It's probably gonna be a double or a triple CD set. We don't know yet. We got more than enough songs to fill this up. How many companies can you say in 1976 and in 2006 is just as relevant? That's big. So the legacy that was left behind is Mel. From Mel on, it moves through. Kevin is smart enough to look for the future. He's got a label that, you know, has the respect. And I have someone that I know that when I'm gone, will have enough respect to take the label to new heights. So happy birthday, West End Record in Japanese. Tanjobi omedetou gozaimasu, West End Records. Congratulations. Uh -huh.